Hey there, Rams. Welcome back. It's been a long break, so we're excited to see each of you back on campus. We're hoping during the break you had a chance to rest and recharge for the spring semester. Just like the fall, your safety is our top priority, so we've implemented some new safety measures that'll help keep our COVID-19 cases low. For the spring semester, please continue to follow all of our community standards. We're requiring everyone to wear a face covering while on campus. This includes indoor and outdoor spaces. Wash or sanitize your hands frequently. We've installed hand sanitizer stations throughout all of our buildings, and now there are several stations outside. Reducing close contact by practicing social distancing is also key to slowing the spread of the virus. Remember to remain six feet apart whenever you can and to not gather in large crowds. We know that having some social interaction is important to all of you. Our social gathering limits are 25 people indoors and 50 outdoors. We encourage you to be creative and think outside the box when it comes to interacting with others. The limits are there for your safety, but there's plenty you can do within the guidelines. This semester, we've created a quick reference guide to help you navigate COVID-19 resources. The first tool is the daily self-monitoring checklist. It's important to monitor your health each day. If you're experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms, immediately call Student Health Services and do not report to any in-person classes. The guide also lists testing resources available to students. As usual, you can call Student Health Services and make an appointment at any time. We'll also have testing available for students every Wednesday at the Anderson Center from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. There is no cost for this testing and you can get tested as often as you would like. This semester, we're implementing surveillance testing. We'll be selecting random student groups to participate. This testing is optional, but it helps us more closely monitor the spread of the virus on our campus. So we strongly encourage each of you to participate when selected. You'll be getting more information about surveillance testing in the next few days. COVID-19 updates primarily will be sent to your university email address. It is so very important that you check your email daily. Also, keep a regular eye on our COVID Connect website. We'll be posting all the latest updates and you can review the COVID dashboard. The dashboard tracks our daily positive case count for students and employees. It's been reset for the spring semester, so it only contains results from January 1st. While we're focusing on keeping you physically healthy, we want you to be mentally healthy. Coronavirus has been difficult for all of us. We've had to change almost everything that we do, and sometimes that can be too much. Our counseling services team is here for you. We've included their contact information in your guide and a link to make appointments. We're also encouraging you to explore one or more of the recommended mental health apps. They are a quick way to get the support you need. Lastly, we need each of you to download Rave Guardian. It's the university's official safety communication app. You'll be able to receive emergency communications and communicate directly with campus police. And this semester, you'll also be able to report COVID-19 community standards violations. We hope these added resources will help you feel safe while on campus. We're committed to keeping the lines of communication open as we work through the rapidly changing pace of COVID-19. If at any time you have questions regarding COVID-19, please don't hesitate to email coronavirus at wssu.edu and we'll answer your questions as quickly as possible. So let's get started. Here's to a fun and safe spring semester.